Okay, so what we've got here is a game class, which is implementing Pygame, and it's also creating a connection listener, which is basically a client for a game server. Here's the server. We've got two main components. We've got our actual server, which deals with all of our uh, connection requests. So when something connects to the server, we can put it into the queue if the queue is empty. Otherwise, we can add it to an existing game if there's already a player in the queue. And we also have a client channel. We set this as the channel class within our server. And this basically deals with incoming network requests. So when a player in our client moves, it will send a request to this move function, which will then pass that request on to the move player function of our server. So to get started, all I'm going to do is create a new instantiation of the server. So. run that and you can see it start on localhost and now we're just running we're just waiting for some connections so now we need to actually start uh, an instantiation of the game client so when I run this you can see there we go there's a new instantiation of the game client it's just called online game uh, there's nothing on the screen yet that's because we're waiting for another connection so if I start a, another instantiation of that you can now see that I have two instantiations of the same game so here you've got a game ID of zero so this is our zeroth game and here you've also got a game ID of zero so these two are connected this is our zeroth player though and this is our first so when I move my player here he's going to move quite quickly um, and he's also going to update on our second client when I click on the right hand side you can see that that's the second player if we go back to our terminal however and start another two instantiations of this game you can see this one again is waiting for a client uh, for a uh, in the queue waiting for a second instantiation to start and when I run a, a second version of the game client again this will attach to the one that's already in the queue and you'll be able to see now here's our game ID of one and our player one and a game ID of one and player zero so when I move my player on here and I play on here, they're separate completely from our original two instantiations of the game. This is actually very good um, for doing sort of turn based games. It's not so good as uh, for doing these sort of live um, games because we're using TCP, uh, which is basically that, that three or six way handshake um, for all the, all the requests, whereas we could be using UDP, which is faster but less accurate because we're going to lose some packets however um, by fiddling around I've managed to make it so that it runs quite smoothly and um, as you can see it's not really lagging that heavily um, and this is just running on a on a you know a MacBook Pro 2015 so it's pretty decent but it's you know it's not exactly a server so if you had this running on a proper server with uh, external connections it probably would run quite well um, all the codes available on GitHub, I'll link that below. Um, but I hope this you, you found this informative and uh, that you can end up using Pod6Net to build your own server.